Let's share a little bit today about the differences between the way we used to manage networks and the way a SDN network is going to manage that, software-defined networking. So let's go ahead and we're drawing out here a router and a switch because within the router and switch, we really have two primary components. There are several of them, but two that we're going to talk about today called the control plane and the data slash forwarding plane. And these planes that are found kind of within the router itself are defining the instructions that happens when information is moved around within our network. So they're making these decisions. And we do this through tables and such. And we're going to get down to that here in a minute. And they, when we program these through the management plane at the router and the switch level. So what does SDN do? SDN introduces this concept of a server. Let me draw a little thinner server. Of a server. Now software is going to define these rules. So we're going to draw out a few servers. And one of the benefits here is that these servers now have these tables that we talked about, right? these tables by which instructions come and lots of other things. This is a very generic two and a half minutes. But these tables in a software defined environment kind of consolidate the control plane and the port. Let's not put it there. Because really the tables are more hardware specific in our legacy way of doing things. And they're going to give us things making those decisions, right? We're going to put down policies in there. We're going to put down uh, instruction sets, things of that nature in these tables. Now in a software defined network we're going to have what we call a centralized controller and this centralized controller is going to have all of these instructions embedded within these controllers at the software level. So instruction at the software level. And what does that mean? That means like for example how to manage a um, traffic, right? Which path do we use? And then it communicates back to the hardware itself to execute those commands. So we're synchronizing in between these tables in this software defined networking. So how do we control? We're controlling these hardware through our tables. We used to do it having the control planes do it. Now we're merging these control planes, putting these tables down in software and being able to add those instructions to a software platform not through a hardware platform.